And with me tonight from Hollywood, Leslie Marshall, the host of the syndicated radio show, The Leslie Marshall Show. All right, so here's, here's what's going on. The Octomom has officially filed two applications with our federal government to trademark her name. Now, in her application, she notes, and I love this, it would be for dresses, pants, shirts, and disposables and textile diapers, as well as a TV variety program, by the way. <laughs> uh, ridiculous as all of that sounds, Leslie, can you blame Octomom for cashing in on the name that's made her famous? Well, yes, I can, AJ, because what about I don't want all this attention? Poor me. I just care about my babies. We're talking big ka-ching here. We're talking bling-bling. And when she talks about all those shoes and pants and shirts, she forgets to mention they're for her. I told you, this girl's playing <laughs> us, and now she's playing our checkbook. Well, no, she has an excuse for this, because obviously we know in the past she said, don't call me Octomom, I don't want all the attention, but today, uh, perhaps in need of a little attention, Octomom spoke with Radar online about how she feels about being called Octomom and why she decided to trademark her name. Let's watch that. I never invented that name. You know, everyone, everyone else did. It's like people choose who you are going to be. You know, I was thrust into all of this without my, without my awareness and without my willingness. And, and, and now I feel almost like I have no choice but to do what I can to support the kids. Yeah, she thinks she has no choice. Now, Cooper, what do you think here? If a line of Octa diapers and clothing comes out, <laughs> Number one, are, are people going to buy it? Number two, can we sign you up? Oh, yeah, well, you know, I heard that the diapers are going to be sold in a pack of 14, even though you can only afford one. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> perfect, perfect. But no, are, are no, people I, going I for this? Something. No, of course they're not. And you know what? If you're the kind of person that's going to buy this, you deserve what you get. You deserve an image of somebody who doesn't know anything about taking care of children, that has no respect for children, that wants to exploit your children. So if, so if you're that kind of person, this is the line of clothing and diapers for you. Well, I got to tell you, uh, this is not a done deal yet. Suleiman has some competition. And you know, they say don't mess with Texas. Uh, there's a Texas company that has already filed a trademark application for the name. They did it a month before she did because they want to use the name for their iPhone game. Now, I got to read to you how they describe this game. This is fantastic. Here's what you do. You press down on Octomom's swollen belly, and another adorable bundle of joy will be brought into the world. But wait, there's more. Each baby earns welfare money, and having babies while the paparazzi is in the room earns a cash bonus. Money, of course, is used to buy more fertility shots. Fertility shots let Octomom have more babies. Uh, you know, and I'm just wondering what the sound effects are going to be like for this particular game. Leslie Marshall, in all seriousness, if that's possible here, here. Is this just plain out of line to have a game like this? Oh, it, you know, it, it should be, but I have to admit, I would I would look at it, and I, I probably would push the belly a couple of times, and, <laughs> and I know the injections would hurt a lot less than when I was injecting myself with my IVF. You know, it seems that it would be out of line, but AJ, I mean, seriously, the culture we're living in, you, you gotta get, it's a bad economy. If people can make a buck, yeah. and, and, and you know what? She, she brought this on herself, and I, I'm thinking maybe deadbeat dad diaper genie might be next. <laughs> yeah. 90, um, 99 cents for an app like that. That, I'm thinking, how do I avoid it? I, that's all. Right. Uh, now, Cooper, w what do you think, though? You know, uh, what we hear Leslie saying, bad economy, people should be able to do this. Is there anything wrong, regardless of how they do it, with others trying to cash in on Octomom or even this kind of video game? Oh, I'm with Leslie. I think if you can exploit Octomom like she's exploiting herself and her children, I mean, go for it. Why should she be the only one making money off of this whole adventure that she's on? That I mean, I, I believe that she had those children just to be famous and just for these conversations, and here we are. And here we are indeed. <laughs> but you know what? She needs the money, and, and she will keep uh, crying that cry is uh, what I think is going to continue to happen here. Leslie Marshall, Cooper Lawrence, I'll buy you the game if it comes out. Thanks for being oh, here. Thanks. <laughs>